Hey everyone, on today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Comfy Mini Countertop Dishwasher. So let's check it out. So in our home currently, we don't have a dishwasher. We just don't have the space for it. So for the past 18 months, we've been washing dishes by hand. I'm really excited to open it up and see what's inside and to put it to good work. So as soon as we open it up, there's the instruction manual. Alright guys, now that we've unboxed it, uh, first impressions, it looks really nice. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, at least on the outside. I do like the finish and the color, uh, the simplistic of it. It's made out of plastic on the outside. And it looks like there are some air vents over here. And it has a nice handle for you to carry or, or lift up if you need to. So there's spots for your hands. The control panel and all the buttons are just located on the front. There are no power on or off button on the side or hidden anywhere on the back. On the back, you're going to get your power cable and then the connections uh, if you want to connect it to the sink. But you don't have to connect it to the sink uh, because this ha does have a water reservoir inside and you just pour the water through the top. And we're going to demonstrate it in a little bit later in the video. Uh, all the components and accessories look like it's inside, so let's open it up and take a look at it. The interior, first thing I noticed was that it's plastic. I think that's very common with these small portable units. So one thing I want to mention is that these machines, they test them before they ship it out. And so our machine inside was a little wet. Let's go over everything that came with the dishwasher. We have the 1.8 liter pitcher. It takes about three and a half of these to fill the dishwasher. The dish rack. The utensils rack, which clips onto the dish rack. The water funnel, the outlet hose to discharge water into the sink, two packs of dishwasher detergent, a fruit rack to wash fruits and vegetables, lastly an inlet hose if you decide you want to connect it to the sink faucet. So the interior is right under 14 inches wide. So from the bottom of the rack to the top is about 11 inches 11 and a half inches is the depth Now do keep in mind that you don't want to put it too high because there is a water spout here on the top That may interfere with some of the plates All right now I'm going to show you how to connect everything and start using the dishwasher first on the back side You're going to see uh, two connections uh, The one right here is actually for the water if you want to use it to connect it to your sink uh, which I'm not because it does have a water container in here uh, to hold water so you don't have to connect it to any water faucet. On the left side of it, you're going to see the drain pipe. And that's where we use our gray drain pipe here. So now we're going to grab our gray drain pipe and connect it. Once you have it connected, keep on twisting this clamp to tighten it up so it doesn't leak. So this part right here uh, is to connect it to the side of your sink. So it doesn't move around. It looks kind of weak. I don't know how well it's going to work, but it's long enough where it can stay into the sink, I'm sure. So I've already plugged it up and connected the drain pipe. So I have the suction cup here and I just can connect it to the side of the sink, just like that. Now we're going to pour in the water and do a test run just to kind of clean the inside of it. Let me show you how to load up the water. All right, to add in the water, uh, there's a lid here. You would just take that off. There's not much room uh, because there's another cabinet on top and we have our towels right here. But that's where this tray probably is going to come in really handy. Uh, so when we put it here, we can just pour water even right here and it just flow right in. So once you hear the beeping sound, that means that you have enough water in there and just stop pouring. So the menu is actually very simple. It's actually at the bottom here. The top words where it says C1, normal, C2, baby care, those are just for references. So whenever I go to cycle, it says C2, so we'll have my reference that C2 is for baby care. 
If I press it again, it'll say C3, which is for glass. But since we're just going to do a normal wash, we're going to put it for C1. Obviously, you have your power button on and off. That switches to the cycle. The delay is a time delay. Auto open, you'll see a little icon with the lid kind of popping open. So if I press it, it turns off. Press it again, the icon shows back up. Uh, UV light. Again, it says UV in the corner there if I turn it on or off. Supposedly it uses UV light to kill bacteria if you're washing bottles for babies. And then you have your start button. So we're going to do a test run on it. I'm just going to use one of the soap that's provided. There's a spot right here for detergent. It says detergent. You can put a pod or a tab there. Or you can use a liquid detergent as well. There's also a LED light at the top here. So you can see the inside of your dishwasher. So on normal wash, it takes about 2 hours and 10 minutes. It also dries the dishes for you. If you just want it to be washed without having to dry, you can do a rapid wash. And that takes about 40 minutes. As far as noise level, I don't think it's that loud. It is noisier than a regular under-the-counter dishwasher. But I don't find it to be that noisy. Alright guys, we did a wash test to kind of wash the tub up a little bit. Now I'm going to load up the dishes and see how much it'll fit. These are 10 inch Corel dishes. We have more dishes in the sink and it's probably about a day's worth of dishes that we've compiled up. So far I'd say we were able to fit a, about a third of it in here. Surprisingly I was able to fit a little bit more than I thought but it did take some time to strategically put them in a certain places. I was able to fit uh, two, three, four, five, six bowls and one, two, three, four, four plates and this one cup. So let's turn on the cycle and test it out. So add the soap. Close this bad boy up. And go to cycle one, which is the normal cycle. Alright, so we did our first wash cycle and we did it on normal mode. The timer said 2 hours and 10 minutes. But what I noticed is that after about an hour and a half, uh, the wash cycle was pretty much done. Then the UV light came on. 10 to 15 minutes later, the door popped open so that it could air dry. So there's an air vent on the right side that kind of sucks the air in. And I think it blows the hot air out on the top. And with the door open, it just kind of dries all the dishes by air. This is really nice and clean. So this one looks just as clean as the first one. This one the same, looks completely clean. So this one is completely clean on the inside. On the outside I do notice like a little speck tiny little speck here and there. This one's completely clean. This bowl is also completely clean. Not only are they completely clean, but they're also very dry. Coffee cup.
Now the ones that I had taken out, I think those were the easy ones because they were just right in the center here and the spray arm was right under it. Um, these over here may be obstructed, so let's see how clean these are. This one is very clean. One thing I did notice as well is if we're loading up dishes uh, under this rack, it's really hard to put the silverware into it. We had this one earlier in here. It was hard to load up anything uh, because it would bump into the bowl. So I guess a tip would be if we're loading up the silverware, make sure there's nothing under it. These bowls are also very clean. These are all the utensils that we have put on the rack and these are the ones that I've seen that were all clean. Uh, there were three that were little, had some little residue on them still. Out of all these utensils, only three were slightly a little dirty so I thought that was pretty good for such a small unit. So this time we're doing the rapid wash which is 40 minutes. All right, so we just finished the rapid wash. It took exactly 40 minutes. Uh, the dishes are clearly wet. It's just a wash and rinse cycle, but it's not a dry cycle. So I gotta dry it by hand, but the most importantly, I wanna see if they're clean. And these were also dirtier. I remember these plates are here. We have put them in and they, they had a lot of food still on them. Some mashed potatoes, they're really dirty. Um, but it looks like the machine completely washed them off. So, no food, completely white. Here's another cup. It's a little wet because it does no dry cycle, but it's clean. Sauce bowl is also clean. So in our rapid wash test, uh, this bowl still had a little bit of residue in the bottom. This was a soup that was in here. I know whenever you're looking at it online, it doesn't look that big and sometimes you look at the numbers and you see the 18 inches high or 18 inches wide. You can't really grasp how big or small it is, so I'm going to give you some quick references. This is a full-size men's basketball and right next to it, it looks extremely small. This is our Kasori air fryer. It's 5.8 liters. And it looks small next to the dishwasher. This is three gallons of water. It's still smaller than the dishwasher. Whenever you feel the water, once you hear the beep, you want to stop. Now if you accidentally pour more than what after the beep, the water is just going to drain through the outlet hose and into the sink. Let's go over some of the positive and things that we really enjoy and like about this machine. First, I really like that it has a water spout here to easily pour in water without splashing everywhere. I do like that it does have a kind of like a dry cycle. It will automatically pop the lid open about an inch and air will blow through the machine to dry the dishes. The dishwasher functions excellent as a dishwasher. It does what it's supposed to do. The dishes and the utensils come out really clean, nice and clean. As far as the noise level, I don't think it's that loud. I'm just super excited that my dishes are being washed. A cool thing about this machine is that it's very portable and it only needs electricity to work. Once you have electricity, you just pull in the water and you can wash your dishes anywhere. I also enjoy the nice window here that you can see your dishes being washed. Um, oftentimes, I just glance in there just to see how they're washing and that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to some improvements that we would like to see. Now there is a second spray arm on the top. It's a smaller one, much smaller than the bottom one. Now as it is, the spray arm on the top really just is to keep the dishes wet. It does spray water, but it's not pressurized. And I think if it was more pressurized and a stronger spray, and it would clean the utensils better on the top. In conclusion, we really enjoy using this machine. It does wash our dishes. 
Now, but our family of four, we do rack up a lot of dishes. And just in the past two days alone, I think we've used this machine about five or six times already just to clear out everything in the sink. It cleans the dishes very well and it also dries it. And I don't know many other machines that would do that in this class. So in our personal experience, this machine is probably not gonna be for us because our family of four, we go through a lot of dishes. And just as I mentioned earlier, we used this machine already like five or six times within the past two days already. And it may not be so practical for us to use it that many times per day. We think something a little bit bigger, uh, maybe another countertop machine that's a little bit bigger uh, would be perfect for us that can fit more dishes. And maybe we only have to load it up once or twice a day. And that's just in our personal experience and that's for our family. Again, this machine may be perfect for you depending on the size of your family and how much dishes you're going through per day. Don't let it stop you from testing it out and trying it out for yourself. Now you're in the market for a portable dishwasher or you never knew that they existed, now you do. We will have links to this particular model down in the description below if you want to check it out. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.